Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for being on uh, this call. We're gonna get started just a moment or two after 10 o'clock, so thank you so much for your patience. Uh, if you don't mind, just making sure that your name um, in the participants list is your name, and if you would like, you can either add that you are from the lead agency, that you're from, uh, that you're a potential teacher applicant or a potential leader applicant. Um, and please don't feel compelled to put your camera on. This is not going to be a super, um, you know, interactive or um, uh, meeting. So definitely feel okay with keeping your cameras off if you'd like. Alrighty, y'all, it's a minute after 10 o'clock, so I'm gonna get started and hopefully we have some more people joining us. Um, if you do have questions at any point during this um, webinar, please um, you know, type them in the chat box and I'll address them at the end of our session. Also, we'll save time at the end of the session for any questions that you have, you can pop up mute and uh, share those questions out loud for the group. Also, this meeting is being recorded along with the one that was done yesterday, and they'll be uploaded to the website awards page uh, sometime next week so that you can refer back to the information here. And the slides will not only be emailed out, but they will be uploaded to the awards page as well. So getting started, today we're going to talk about the vision of the teacher and leader of the year. We're going to talk about the general timeline of this program some support and resources and upcoming dates. Um, so Louisiana Department of Education has within the last year and a half uh, revisited our priorities and revisited the, uh, the things that what you know, Louisiana actually believes about education and children and teachers and schools. And one of the most important things um, for this program in particular, is that educators are value professionals. Um, it is beyond time that our early childhood educators, leaders, teachers um, are a part of this uh, awards program. And because we know at the department level, at the state level, that y'all are critical to the development of children to the development of our school systems. And without you, our children would not be in a position to succeed later on in their lives. So again, we, when thinking about what Louisiana is striving for in our pursuit of education, we are trying to prepare and support teachers to lead classrooms and provide high quality interactions that meet developmental needs of children every single day. You, who are on this call, you, um, the people out in the field are all doing uh, amazing things for our children and for a group of children at that uh, birth to five level, who in many cases are um, underserved, who are not um, yet getting the excellent education that we know they need in order to be prepared for kindergarten. So everybody who's out there doing this now is leading the charge um, in one of the most important 
pursuits, um, in my opinion, that could be done in our society. Um, and another really wonderful thing is that this is an opportunity, this Teacher and Leader of the Year program is an opportunity for Louisiana to really step forward as a leader in education because we will be the first Department of Education, the first State Department of Education to honor early childhood teachers and leaders in a program like this. There are a few other states who do so, but they do it through a nonprofit organization that is early childhood focused. So it is still not yet at the level of prowess or level of recognition that we know our pre-K-12 uh, peers are receiving. So this is a huge step in the right direction to push y'all into the forefront of the, uh, the education world where we know you belong. So as I mentioned earlier, we know that you are doing the most incredible work um, for the first five years of a child's life are the most critical for their development. Um, from birth to age three, children grow and learn at the most intense rate, forming more than a million neural connections every second. And these are the years when children are learning how to learn. 90% of a child's brain development happens before age five. 90% of their brain development happens when they're in your hands um, or the hands of people that you work with directly. And as I mentioned before, and I'm going to say it again, it is about time that we start recognizing you for the in, um, integral work that you do to make our society function, to make our children um, successful young adults, adults, members of our society, um, and help their families to be successful, to help their families to be, um, you know, able to support themselves while their children are in a safe and um, an, an important and impactful place of learning. So, Zooming in on the actual program itself, the teacher and leader of the year will mirror the process from the pre-K-12 um, application and review. You're going to be on the very, very similar timeline as much as we can align. It's going to be an evaluation process based on rigorous, vision-aligned review that highlights the skills of high-quality educators. We will honor our finalists just like their pre-K-12 peers at Teacher Leader Summit uh, in May in 2022. Award winners will receive valuable prizes to acknowledge their contributions to the field. Um, those prizes will escalate at each level of finalists. Um, at ultimately, our final two, Leader and Teacher of the Year, will have some really extra special awards um, that are still to be determined, but in the works are really great, and I'm very excited about them. And then, as I've mentioned before, this is an opportunity for Louisiana and for the Louisiana's um, education force to um, elevate this field in a way not yet seen anywhere in the United States. It's about time that Louisiana is the first in something wonderful, um, and I'm so excited that y'all are going to be a part of that. So uh, eligible people to apply for the Teacher and Leader of the Year program are applicants who are serving children in type three centers, early Head Start or Head Start centers, or family child care centers participating in the family child care pilot through the Department of Education. If you are not sure about where you land or where somebody you think is a wonderful candidate lands in this um, category, please reach out and let me know, reach out to them, reach out to somebody at your network level um, to make sure that that is uh, where they are. These are all publicly funded seats, which again is aligned with the pre-K-12 process that, um, that recognizes teachers and leaders in public schools. So the winners will be honored for the broad contributions such as demonstrating excellence in the field, demonstrating leadership and innovation, helping the community, um, and creating a culture of growth and development and positivity in your classrooms, in your centers, um, and in your community. So this is the timeline um, and it is tentative or it is, I'll say that it is subject to change because um, for example, we had an original timeline that never got shared because Hurricane Ida happened and delayed some of our process. So um, with this being the first year of a program, uh, we do ask for a little bit of patience in some things that may need to change, but we will absolutely uh, communicate any changes early and often. However, uh, barring any natural disasters or any major um, pandemic situations, this is our timeline for the year. 
October 12th is when the application information, such as your guidance documents, your application materials, went live on the awards page on Louisiana Believes. Today and yesterday were the first informational webinars for stakeholders, um, applicants, teachers, leaders, anybody who's interested in either applying or supporting someone to apply. And then in mid-November and December, we'll continue to have technical assistance webinars um, with broad information, but also some things as specific as how to upload um, your videos to the um, online portal, online application portal, how to make your um, applicant profile on the application portal, how to um, go about making sure that your resume is saved correctly so that it can upload accurately and open. Um, we'll make as many um, efforts to support y'all throughout the next few months as possible until the applications close on January 12th. Um, that is also the same deadline as our pre-K-12 counterparts. So again, like I mentioned at the top of this webinar, we're going to align the dates as much as possible with our pre-K-12 um, friends over there. So from January 12th to April, we'll be reviewing um, all of the applications, there will be a few opportunities for different rounds where we may send applicants notifications saying thank you so much for applying. Unfortunately, we are no, not bringing your application to the next round. We'll say, hey, we really like your application. We need a little bit more information. Or we may say, congratulations, you've moved on to the next round. Here are your next tasks um, for the next round to be considered. Um, a part of that application process. And we will uh, give you guidance on those next tasks as we get closer to those dates. So then from May through July, the selection committee will make our final decisions. Um, and the final lists will be, no, uh, will be uh, shown <laughs> to the world at Teacher Leader Summit, as I mentioned earlier. And then the final, final finalists will be chosen um, and, and shared to the world at our Teacher and Leader of the Year Gala in July, along with our pre-K-12 counterparts. Um, so again, that's our tentative timeline. For the most part, we're going to stick to this as best as we can. But as I mentioned, this is the first year of this uh, program. So just be patient with us as um, anything comes up, we may need to change. So now we're gonna talk about the application itself and what teachers and leaders will need to do in order to be uh, considered for this position. We're gonna talk about the teacher of the year application first, then the leader of the year application. They're both relatively similar with a few um, nuanced differences uh, for the leaders and versus teachers. So as you look over the guidance documents, you're going to see that there are some elements that are 100% required. You'll say, see the word required. You'll see must submit. You'll see um, that language. There are some where you get to select from a list, such as um, this bottom part where you see that you can choose from a list of um, different things, such as um, choosing between the written lesson plan corresponding to the teaching video or written feedback and scores from a recent class um, or coaching session. So I also want to say that you must submit at least one of those options, but if you choose to submit more than that, that is absolutely okay as well. Remember that any application, any submission materials will be um, evaluated based on rubric that will go live in, um, in the next few weeks. So you'll be able to see exactly what we're looking for from each type of um, application material. Um, and then again, speaking to exactly what these things are, every single applicant, teacher or leader must submit a teaching video, a 10 minute maximum length. Um, and there's going to be some additional guidance about what should be included in that video um, in the appendixes that are attached to the guidance documents. I'm gonna go over that in a little bit. Um, but just be prepared to videotape yourself teaching or um, if you're a leader, doing some other things. So again, um, there's some other teaching materials and work history that are included in the application, um, such as adding an additional teaching video, a video tour of your classroom, 
video interviews of at least one child or family. Now we know some of our children in early childhood are a little too young to be able to answer some questions. So we highly encourage you to have that child with their family members um, to discuss, you know, what makes you a great teacher, why they feel confident in having their child in your care. And also you can do a family letter of recommendation. Um, so for work history, there's going to be um, an opportunity to submit a resume um, or complete work history questions in WiseHive if you do not or your candidate does not have um, a, an active resume um, already. And you can choose, um, or excuse me, you must also submit um, a letter of recommendation and you can submit up to three. And that's in addition to the family letter of recommendation here for teaching materials um, part two. Teaching data, um, the department will evaluate you on the materials here. So we will um, track your last three years of class scores as available. If for example, you've only been teaching for two years, we'll take your two um, last two years. Um, and one important thing to note is that teachers with a negative climate score of two or higher in more than two observations will not be considered for teacher of the year or it will be a disqualifying factor. And then lastly on this section, um, if your teacher has inter-rater reliability in teaching strategies gold, you'll submit your certificate there. And lastly, we are looking to see your leadership skills and you have a choice of how to submit uh, these, the answers to these questions and either a traditional written response in the essay questions, which will be on the next page, a video recorded speaking response to the three essay questions, or you can schedule an interview with the LDOE staff um, to answer those three questions via Zoom. Um, and then we will record that and give it to you to submit with your application. And if you're interested in doing it in that format, please just contact me um, to schedule it between November 1st and November 15th so that you um, are able to get that done. And those three essay questions are, um, you're going to choose three of the four. And those questions are, why do you work in early childhood education? And why is this work important to you? Imagine you are meeting parents with their first toddler unsure about starting care. What would you say to them? What makes you an excellent early childhood educator? And across the nation, there is a lot of energy around the importance of early childhood education. Therefore, many leaders are advocating for increased funding for early childhood. What do policymakers need to know about the work that you do as they make decisions about policy and funding? So again, you're choosing three of those four questions to answer. Now we're gonna talk about the leader of the year application. As I mentioned, it's relatively similar with a few exceptions. You will have to submit a video. However, we know that many of you leaders are not in the classroom. Some of you are in the classroom. So one of your choices of what kind of video you can submit is a video of you teaching a lesson. But you can also submit a video of you leading professional development or conducting a staff meeting. And the difference here is that professional development sessions are examples um, where the leader is guiding teachers in a specific teaching skill or domain that directly impacts child development. While a staff meeting is anything where the leader guides teachers and staff in operational or logistical changes that impact the function of the center. Um, either one of those is perfectly acceptable. It's a great way to demonstrate your leadership on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and also if you're in the classroom, you can submit a teaching video as well. They will all be equally evaluated. Um, one is not more important or more, um, more points worthy, I guess, for lack of a better word, than the other. Um, again, we just want to see an accurate picture of what your leadership looks like in your center. So again, you're going to get an opportunity to choose from submission materials, um, a teacher's lesson plan with your, the leader's feedback, scores from three teachers from your center, plans and materials from the professional development center that you led, plans from the staff meeting that you led, um, again, you're choosing at least one of these uh, on this list, but you can always submit more. Uh, again, an additional teaching video or an additional video of a professional development or staff meeting, a video tour of your center, video interviews, or a family letter of recommendation. Work history, the same as um, the teacher of the year application, up to three letters of recommendation, and the 
work history questions or a Word resume, or I'm sorry, or a resume in Word or PDF form. We'll also take um, your teaching data, three years of your class scores um, for the site if um, as the leader, and then whether you as the leader have inter-rater reliability. If you do, submit a copy of your certificate. Then lastly, again, leadership questions. You have the same choice of how to give us those answers, a written response, a video recording, or scheduling an, a Zoom interview with the department. The questions are almost the same with one exception. The first question, how do you communicate with your staff on the importance of what they do? How do you motivate them and provide a positive work environment? Otherwise, the questions are the same and you can choose three of the four to answer in either of those three formats given on the previous page. So support that we're going to provide to you, as I mentioned at the top of this inter, um, webinar when talking about the timeline, we will provide technical assistance throughout, such as um, the office hours webinar in October, November, and December. I should have included on this slide as well. We can also email me at any time, uh, and I will get back to you as soon as I can with any questions that you might have. You can, we will create and submit instructions on how to upload and submit application materials, and that will be live on the awards page website. We will um, hold Zoom sessions by request if you want um, assistance walking through some of the application materials, if you have some questions that you think can't be contained in an email, et cetera. And for those of you on who are a part of a lead agency or a CCRNR, you should also be prepared to complete uh, the same kind of technical assistance offered at the department level, particularly supporting with teaching videos um, and being a presence in the classroom or in the center to, um, to help give the, that picture of the teacher or leaders, um, you know, life in the classroom or life in the center. One other major component is making sure that we have consent forms um, from both the teacher, uh, the candidate or leader, excuse me, um, applying and any child or family who is um, interviewed or any other staff members who may be a part of your video. Um, those links can be found on this webinar as well as they are live on the uh, Louisiana De Believes Awards page. And um, in this slide, we have some directions on um, scanning them all into one PDF. So if you have a scanner or a fax machine at the um, center or at the lead agency level, scan them all to one PDF and submit as one document in your application. Again, that's kind of a conversation for later down the road, but just some friendly advice on how to do that. So here are the resources, and I'm going to actually jump and show you guys a little bit about the appendixes. Um, and we have all of these lot, links are live on the awards page, um, but I want to show you just a little bit about the appendix and what that will look like. So I'm going to share my screen again. And this is an award document so that y'all can go in and um, I'm sorry, y'all. Here we go. So that y'all can go in and actually edit some of the templates. I'm gonna to jump to our resume section. For example, you can jump in here and edit this as needed and put into your own Word document. You can also um, you know, copy and paste this letter of recommendation tool into an email or into a, another Word document printout and give to somebody who you would like to write a letter of recommendation for either yourself or for another candidate. Um, but each of these has um, guidance and recommendations on what a really excellent um, video or a really excellent interview would look like. And unless it says must have in the appendix description, please feel free to be as creative as you'd like. Um, those must haves are typically just with the video and we just wanna see really clear um, the um, like type of video you're showing if you're a leader, the type of lesson you're leading if you're a teacher, um, anything that we need to know about your classroom video that's about to happen. Um, and there are also on the awards page some examples of um, videos from the pre-K-12 teachers of the year last year 
And um, those resources are all available to you if you have any questions. Um, so again, there, like you can see here in this appendix, you can see some example questions that you can ask the children and families who you might be interviewing in one of those options. Um, some great examples of what you should include in your work history or your education history. Um, what some great questions for a person writing you a letter of recommendation would be, et cetera. <clears throat> so, I'm coming to the last slide, which is our upcoming or important dates. As I mentioned, October 12th, the application materials are live on the, um, on the awards page. October 20th and 21st, yesterday and today, were the optional first optional office hours where you can learn about what this application includes. And then in mid-November and December, the WISE Hive, which is the name of the online portal where the application will actually be submitted, will go live. And again, I'm, like I've mentioned a couple of times here, you're going to have available to you some sessions on exactly how to interact with that website, how to upload things, where to upload things, what troubleshooting you might need. Um, and I do want to mention that that is an intentional delay so that you guys have time to really dig into the materials, really practice your application materials, do a couple practice videos, see what you sound like on your um, in your teaching make sure that your audio works, make sure that you're clearly heard um, before submitting something online um, for that final application. And that application closes on January 12th. And on January 13th, the department will start reviewing applications. And if you have any questions at all throughout um, this process, please reach out to me, devin.camerata at la.gov. Um, and I will get back to you as soon as I can uh, with the answers to your questions or documents or materials or support that you may need. Um, so that is the end of my presentation here. I do see that there's a few questions in the chat box. Um, and there was one question about could a um, lead agency staff member be a candidate for leader of the year? Um, and she, the person who asked that question did acknowledge that I answered it, but I'm gonna answer it again, just in case other folks on this call um, weren't clear. This is for center directors um, or center leaders um, who are in the center on a daily basis, who are doing um, that day-to-day -day work with teachers and children, not necessarily at that higher level. Um, so, uh, and Devin, will... I would jump in, Devin, I would jump in there and say also Head Start leaders that are on the ground in the Head Starts direct, right? Not just centers. Correct, correct. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I missed the thank you, Lizzie. So um yeah. centers, her um family child care folks um can all yeah. apply for leader of the year, just at the lead agency level, unfortunately, not at this time. Um and the question, the next question I received in the chat box was getting a copy of the slide deck. Yes, you will. I'm going to email this out um to all of the members on the invite after this meeting, as well as putting it live on the website. And I'm going to stay on for just another minute or so for any questions that y'all might have. Um, you can either pop off of mute or type in the chat box your question. But otherwise, if you don't have any questions, you are free to go. And I'm so grateful to you all for participating in this meeting this morning. I hope that you have many teachers, many leaders, many candidates who are interested in um, applying this year. And I look forward to speaking with you all again. Alrighty, y'all. I'm not seeing any other questions or anybody popping off of mute. So I'm going to end this meeting. Thank you again so much for your time this morning.